In the best of all worlds, billboards would say poems, and eyeball plasma, baths of it, would greet everyone everywhere. Bluebirds would fly around rainbows, and lovers would cluster in pairs. Angels wouldn't be invisible anymore, and boys and girls would get to be children for as long as they wanted, and Mommy and Daddy would hold hands and smile. There wouldn't be salespeople, and you'd just go get what you wanted. And there wouldn't be any commercials to interrupt anything, because who cares, anyhow? And everyone would know Rush Limbaugh was a bonehead, and they'd let him babble away anyhow. Everything would be free, because people would make things and grow things out of love. Little hand can openers would work, and packages would be easy to open, and cookies would taste really good, and cakes and pies, and doctors would put their hands on you and fix, fix, fix until you were well. And when you got old after 300 years, you'd just sit back and people would listen to you tell stories about how far you hit a baseball once, and how much a movie and a loaf of bread was, and how to catch a buzzard. Just lie down and be real still. And the little girl next door would still be your sweetheart. And you'd both have wrinkly old smug smiles. And the temperature would be around 73 degrees. Your dog would open one eye and wag his tail one slow wag. And his pink tongue would be slightly visible while he slept in the shade. And the cat would peer quietly at you from behind a row of books and you'd grow your own best big fat tomatoes, and Charlie'd grow asparagus next door and be so proud, and Rose would grow roses, because that's her name, and the pea patch you planted in South Carolina when you were five and then moved away to Florida would still be there, and you'd come back and find it full of bright green snapping peas. Fiddlesticks would be made of wood again, and the Green Hornet would be on the radio at 5 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. And you'd wave every night to your uncle, who was really on the actual moon.